So Alex, uh, you're up. <clears throat> Dana, what's going on, man? Thank you. This is, hey, I've, I have so many good notes in here. Um, the first chapter you have, uh, and you talked about it, you got to, um, you know, hate to lose more than you love to win. Mm -hmm. And um, as an Orioles fan, I had to get used to a lot of losing and you guys beat us <laughs> a ton. And so I used to hate you and so, or the, not <laughs> you personally, but the Yankees, because you were so good. Uh, I'm still not over Jeffrey Mayer, but um, <laughs> <clears throat> my question uh, has to do with losing um, because I loved what you said. Like, you just got to, you know, hate to lose and like, you know, everyone uh, bounds together and say like, we're, we're like losing isn't acceptable and we're, we're winning and we're all on this. Um, I'm wondering some of the probably best learnings or moments that you've learned something in your career probably came from your greatest losses. So I'm kind of curious, like in your career, if you, you have a story of, I, if I could take you back to like something that was just a, a crushing loss for you and maybe what was the, the, the greatest insider, what was the greatest thing that you learned from yeah. some of your greatest losses? Well, well, the thing is I lose every day, like in some way that that's the truth. Like I I'm always losing. Like I, I, I lose a lot more than I win, you know, whether it be going after a deal, whether it be a client, whether it be, uh, you know, just whatever, you know, a challenge that I set myself up to that I, I lose on. So, so I, I always put that out there as a coach, like I, I'm not definitely not perfect because, because nobody is, I unfortunately am one of those people that chases perfection even though it's not possible. And I, so I, I feel like I lose a lot more, but, but we're always losing. So in, in my career, one of my losses was when I left the team, I wanted to leave. I wanted to leave within a year or two of where I did, but my contract didn't get renewed and I had a choice. Do I want to go with another team or do I want to end with the best? And I said, okay, I mean, you know, I know the Orioles are, are what they are and the Red Sox are what they are, but in my mind, I wanted to leave with the best and that losing led me to doing what I do now. And in every part of my life, there's, there's been acceleration from that point of loss, right? There's been gain in every point position from the amount of time I have now versus the amount of time that I had financially now versus what I had, um, you know, the relationships that I've built now versus what I had, right? There's been acceleration in every category. So, that was the result of, you know, losing, but it was not losing. Cause you, I would say you have to lose to win because you have to know that you hate losing so that you chase winning. So too often we, we, we settle, you know, and we just say, Oh, I'll just do this. And I, I see it even with guys that I used to work with in the organization. I said, man, this guy, these guys were so talented and look at them. They're doing the same thing they did 10 years ago. There's no new challenge but they're so comfortable I'm gonna pay. I'm gonna go outside. unwilling to change, right? They're unwilling gonna to, I'm gonna go to do something new. So we got to be very open to losing. And sometimes it, it may be, and I'm not, by the way, I'm not telling any, everybody to, to leave what you're currently doing, but it's, it is a theme in the book that says, Hey, um, try something new, right? You like how I, I weave that something new right thank, in there? Thank you. Thank but, you, Dana. But try, but try, <laughs> try something mail. new in order to, and, and you may, it may feel like a loss or a fail initially, but you'll see if you keep attacking, you start to build momentum. And um, anyway, you have to lose to win, but you have to hate to lose because losing sucks. <laughs>